Hey there and welcome back to Get Indie Gaming. As we head towards the second half of the year with 2021 already yet another vintage year for indie games, in this video we cover off the top 15 pretty well known indie games expected out this 2021 we're most looking forward to playing. If you're new here, what follows should serve as an excellent introduction to some of the kind of games we most enjoy and if you've been here before, well this video might help to jog the memory amongst the thousands of games competing for your playtime and hard earned cash. Before we jump in though, one quick disclaimer. Now for right or wrong we've chosen to leave out the last night. While we're just as excited to see more from it as you are, we just think it's unlikely to pop out this calendar year. Starting at number 15, and a game we've been eagerly awaiting since first shown at the Xbox E3 press event in 2019. 12 Minutes is a loop, time-based thriller featuring voice acting from three Hollywood heavy hitters by way of Daisy Ridley, James McAvoy and Willem Dafoe. All of the action takes place from a top-down perspective within a married couple's apartment with events turning sour soon after they've sat down for a romantic evening together. From what we've seen of this so far, you play as the husband when a man, presumably a cop, comes to your door, forces his way into your home before accusing your wife of murder, before then going on to kill you, but only seconds later, well, you're back in your apartment, supposedly 12 minutes earlier, where once again, there's a knock at the door. And with that, you start the gameplay loop all over with you needing to figure out what's going on and how to stop it. So yes, that's the repeated loop in what the developer is calling a tailored one-off experience with around six to eight hours of gameplay where each player will likely solve the mystery in a different way to other players. As others have said, 12 minutes is shaping up to be the gaming equivalent of an extended night at the theater with it out soon on PC and Xbox. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. Up next, and one of those games a long time in the making, with us covering it back in 2017 and then again the following year, well, Harold Halibut began life as a conversation with friends over dinner about their love of stop action animation and story games. Fast forward to the middle of 2021, and with a newly released trailer, we've been reintroduced to the titular Harold, a young lab assistant living his life aboard a city-sized, arc-like spaceship submerged below the waves of an alien planet. In a word, well, Harold Halibut looks nothing short of stunning, and is said to be launching soon on PlayStation, Xbox, and of course, home PCs. At number 13, and expected out later this year for PC via Steam and Humble, Unpacking is described as a zen-like puzzle game about the familiar experience of unpacking possessions from boxes after moving into a new home. We recently spent time with the game's demo and found it a rewarding and relaxing experience with an overall puzzle vibe quite somewhat akin to Item Tetris, which also paints a picture around the kind of life you're helping to unpack. At number 12, and likely out in the summer, Toem is described by the developer as a wholesome adventure that's all about helping communities while also taking photos to help uncover the mysteries of the Toem in what seems to be a quirky hand-drawn adventure. You'll be able to meet and chat to a number of curious looking characters in a game, which again the developers have said is something that encourages you to stop and smell the flowers. Toem looks already to be a chilled out and relaxing adventure with it expected out onto PC. At number 11 and out in July, Chris Tales has, as this video airs, a demo which you can get hold of via its homepage for PC as well as the PlayStation and Xbox platforms. You can find a link to this down in the video description. Having played it for a good few hours over the past couple of days, well, this one is shaping up to be perhaps one of the best examples of what's clearly a love letter to classic JRPGs set to be released over the course of the year. While the art style is quite sublime and endearing, it's the turn-based combat with the wide variety of attacks and specials 
together with the usual buffs and debuff abilities that so far while playing the demo has really brought a little bit of extra sparkle. There's something quite special going on here and it should appeal to classical and modern fans of JRPGs. At number 10 we have Axiom Verge 2 which is, naturally enough, the follow-up to the original which came out in 2015. Developer Thomas Happ only recently showed off some more of the gameplay and confirmed the game is set to take place both before and after the events of the original. As you can see though, much of the gameplay looks to take from many a side-screen scroller, although Happ has confirmed the sequel will come with new and additional mechanics, although fans of the first game said, well, they'll feel very much at home. Axiom Verge 2 is expected out at some point in the second half of the year, with it at launch being exclusively on the Epic Games Store for PC and the Nintendo Switch. Next up, and at number 9, we have a game that made one of us cuss out loud with delight when we first played it on the show floor of Gamescom back in 2019. Back then, well, the demo with its engaging gameplay, solid combat, and, well, just in how it all looks and sounds, blew us away. This survival horror adventure down Route 666 remains fully front and centre in our wish lists of games we can't wait to play. Dead Static Drive is headed onto PC and Xbox, with its Steam homepage currently listed the game as coming soon. Moving on, the first of two games published by Finji to appear in this rundown. Chicory, a colourful tale, comes from the developer who brought us the wonderful and very much underplayed Wonder Song, and at this time, players will partake of a watercolour painting adventure where you'll use the power of art to explore, solve puzzles, and help your fellow animal friends to restore colour back to the world. Like a few others in this rundown, we've been able to spend time with the game's demo, and while on the face of things everything looks rather peaceful and serene, there are intense action sections that really did offer up a stern challenge, requiring top-notch reaction skills and the foresight to anticipate when and where the next, oh let's just call them, to avoid spoilers, projectiles will go. We're thinking there's something very special and very clever going on here with Chicory A Colourful Tale, with it expected out anytime soon as this video goes up onto Windows PC as well as the PlayStation platforms. Up next and at number 7, Venba, apologies if the pronunciation is a little bit off, is an upcoming cooking narrative puzzler game set within a story about an Indian mother who emigrates to Canada with her husband and son within the late 1980s. With each day passing in the game, you cook a variety of South Indian dishes with the recipes and cooking blending into the game's overall story. Venba is said to touch upon family, love and loss, with it also shaped by many experiences of the game's designer and programmer who moved from India to Toronto aged 12. Venba is currently expected to launch this winter onto PC. At number 6, and yes, we have featured this game a few times over the years, although having seen recent footage, we yet again wanted to take the time to give Death Trash just another little signal boost, with it possibly coming out in early access at some point in 2021. If this is new to you or otherwise, Death Trash is an open world single player RPG with handcrafted levels, a strong story mode and for us what's most exciting is the option of local co-op gameplay, something long term viewers of the channel will know gets a big old tick from us. Death Trash looks well, it all looks fantastic, and he's hoping we're able to see more of this one quite soon. Moving onwards into the top 5, where we'd wager 90% plus of viewers who've made it this far will already have seen the games taking up these last 5 slots, but no matter. If you are new here, or any of these games in the rundown are new to you, feel free to let us know down in the comments. So, at number 5, Sable, with it looking every bit like something that might have come from Jean Mobius Girard, 
was first shown off back in 2018, with it now expected out this year on PC and Xbox, with it also being available on day one via the system's Game Pass subscription service. In Sable, you play as a girl who leaves her nomadic clan to take part in a rite of passage. Everybody in your clan wears a mask that usually denotes your role in society, and you're searching for the one that fits you best. It's an open world where you're able to meet NPCs and discover the history of the place, its culture, and the folks who live there. There's no combat, although there will be puzzles all within something that looks fabulously mesmerizing. At number 4, and perhaps no surprise to many, with this one being in the rundown, we have Tunic, a plucky and cute as a button little fox who can certainly punch well above its own weight division. Like many others, we first got to play Tunic back at Gamescom in 2019, and have been able to do so again over the past year or so, most recently only a few months ago when the demo went up on Steam for a longish weekend. Now we love this demo not just in how it all looks and plays, but also for what it doesn't do. There's no hand-holding. Players need to figure things out with minimal prompting aside from some environmental cues, and that's something we absolutely adored. There's also the combat, which is something we often, well, normally touch upon. And in all honesty, there's something here that puts us in mind of Bloodborne, in the way you're often needing to dodge and position yourself in a way to accurately land a counter. That too is brilliant. And then, well, there's just Tunic. Just look at that ever so plucky little fox that's screaming out for many a plushie. Will this be out this year? Perhaps not. And yet either way, like all of the games in this rundown, if you haven't added Tunic to your wish list, you can find links to do so down in the description. Onwards into the top three, and taking the first spot on the podium, we have Eastwood, our most wanted pixel art game expected out this year. Eastwood will see you playing as either John or Sam, with you able to switch between characters to solve environmental based puzzles. From what we can tell, it's a single player, which is a little bit of a shame, although, and in any case, the game feels like something we really will enjoy. Inspired by Japanese animation from the 90s, players will discover strange and yet delightful looking towns, strange creatures, and even stranger people, all within a post-end of days scenario. Having covered Eastwood a few times over the years, we're certain this will be at the pointy end of many of our viewers' wish lists, with it likely out this year onto PC, and the Nintendo Switch. At number 2 and expected perhaps later this year on PC and the Switch, Dordoin is quintessentially exquisite looking. Described as a story-driven adventure game, players will see their character explore her late grandmother's home, a place in the south of France where Mimi used to spend her summers. It's the hand-painted watercolour art style that really does have us transfixed, every time we see something new from Dordoin, be this a still frame over on Twitter, or every time we fire up the trailers to take another look. As a collective, we were lucky to also have spent many summers in the south of France as children, and since then, well, we've been back on more than a few occasions. With just the trailer and gameplay footage, we can be instantly taken back there, back to the warm summer evenings by the river, the cool of the breeze of the sun sets, to the balmy night spent mostly under canvas, or more likely of late, in a cosy little gîte tucked away off the beaten track. Just to reiterate, Dordoin looks utterly exquisite. At number one, and perhaps yet another further surprise to nobody, we have Hollow Knight Silk Song. Now this one really needs no introduction, with it being the sequel to the much loved and adored Silk Song. In case you haven't seen this though, well this time you're playing as Hornet, the princess protector of Hollow Nest ruins in an all new action adventure game set within a totally new kingdom. To be honest, like many of you will already know, there's no firm news on when this might actually launch, although like many and having played the demo a few times over the years, we're hugely, and that's an understatement and a half, eager to play it at some point soon. This has all the hallmarks of let's take a week off work when this comes out kind of vibes, and again if we're honest, we can sit back and play the rest of our backlog until this finally drops on PC and Steam and at launch as a console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch. 
So there we go, that's all we have time for in today's video. Let us know which of these or any others are on your most wanted lists down in the comments. If you've liked this one, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And in so doing, you'll be joining one of the largest indie game focus communities here on the platform. Either way, many thanks for watching, and we look forward to welcoming you all back here soon for more indie game videos.